so after we we discovered that there is a fundamental particle called an electron we were interested in finding out what charge it has and if at all if it has a mass what mass does it have for that you will have to understand first of all the behavior of the so 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 we are trying to find out first of all the the charge to mass ratio charge to mass ratio of the electrons okay okay now let us try to first of all understand how what is an electric field first right so i'll i'll try to give you some sense of what an electric field is and how do the charges behave in an electric field okay <coughs> for now just try to look at the electric field as as some line going from from one place to another okay so electric field is represented by a line right the field that i have shown you the parallel lines equispaced that represents a uniform electric field this is a uniform electric field okay and this electric field is a vector okay it is a vector what is a vector a vector is something that has a vector is something that has got a magnitude as well as a direction right so so a magnitude as well as a direction okay so 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 it is represented something like like this okay and it is named by small letter with an arrow over it indicating that this is a vector okay now there is a thing called there is a thing called the scalar multiplication of this vector <coughs> understand a scalar multiplication of this vectors by scalar we mean a real number okay so let us say let us say if i try to multiply this vector by a positive number 2 then this vector becomes like this it is 2a now what happens now what happens the moment you try to multiply this vector by a by a by a positive number what happens the the direction of the vector remains the same that means the direction remains the same as it was originally there and the length of the vector will become twice the length of the original vector it will become twice the length since we have multiplied it by 2 so it will look something like this so it will look something like like approximately the the length is kind of twice of this a here and a here so the length is twice the vector direction remains the same now you feel that this this, this vector is shifted why do you say the direction is the same it has shifted but it has shifted parallelly you understand it has shifted parallelly so so maybe a wind that is moving all of it moving in northeast direction like that <coughs> northeast direction like that okay they are parallel but their direction is the same isn't it their direction is the same they are all making an angle of 45 degree with the if this is how you show north south west and east 
then the, all these are making an angle of 45 degree with the east direction. So that's why their direction is the same. In vectors, when you are able to shift a vector parallel to itself without changing its name or designation, we say that these vectors are free vectors. Okay? These vectors are free vectors. That's why, that's why you would have imagined that this vector should have been drawn here. No? Just over this vector. Just over this vector. Something like that. But it is, it is fine even if I draw it here. That means I move this green line, this green line parallel to itself and bring it here. Understand? This is the impact of the multiplication of a vector by a real number which we happen to call a scalar. Okay? Scalar. Why? Because this number 2 does not have any direction it only has a magnitude and that's how you know a scalar to be understand that's why now had you tried to multiply this this vector a had you tried to multiply this vector a by say minus 1 into a this would have done something else this minus 1, this minus sign would have changed the direction of the vector. To what? To a direction that is opposite to what it originally is. So originally, it, it's like, like here to there, okay? From, from a point A to point B. So it will now start pointing from B to point A. Understand? So it will start pointing from B to a but it will still remain the same in length understand it will remain the same in length so minus 1 into a is also written as minus a understand now if I wanted to multiply this by say minus 1.5 a minus 1.5 a <coughs> what would happen this negative sign would have changed the direction of this vector okay minus sign changes the direction keeps the so 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 you can imagine this to be multiplied by minus 1 first and followed by that by a positive number 1.5 is that okay Minus 1.5 can be written as minus 1 into 1.5. Minus 1 a I know is this vector. This vector. Right? Minus a is a vector that is in the direction opposite to that of a. But of the same length. Fine. And now this is a positive number. And positive number does what? It keeps the direction. Now I am trying to multiply minus a by 1.5, which is a positive number. And what had we what had we earlier discussed? We had said that the resulting vector, the vector that you'll get, will be like what? It will be in the same direction. Now the direction has already changed and it has become opposite, b to a, right? So it will remain in the same direction. But the length will become 1.5 times, right? So say 1.5 times that. You see that? This is minus 1.5a. This is minus 1.5a. You see that? You understand this whole process? of scalar multiplication okay okay now that you have understood this process then let me tell you one thing if you are given a field e which is a vector okay and it will have a magnitude it will have a direction correct so what happens 
if you try to put a charge q in this this charge actually experiences a force in this electric field and that force is given by by q into e understand this force is given by q into e so so this is a force this is a charge this charge can be can be both positive or negative it can be both okay it can be both positive or negative and this is what an electric field understand now it will become pretty apparent to you that this electric field is being multiplied by a charge which is a scalar you see it is to get the force you have to scalar multiply the electric field with a charge understand now when you do that when we do that what do we see what do we see what do we see we see that if the charge is positive if this is a positive charge then what happens this e is getting multiplied by a positive number a positive scalar now what happens whenever we multiply something by a positive scalar the the, the resulting the resulting product is a vector in the same direction do we see that so the force and this will be force this would have become the force on the particle so what does it mean it means that the force on a positive particle is in the same direction as the electric field is directed along understand so 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 i'll write it here so i'll write it here that force on a on a positive charge charge is in the same direction is in the same direction as e get that and by the same logic force on a negative charge see if this charge was negative let's say let's say there is a there is a negative charge sitting somewhere here there is a negative charge sitting somewhere here and you multiply it by e then what does it do the first thing that it does is changes the direction is it not because it is multiplied by a negative vector is negative quantity so its its direction gets changed so if this is say a minus q1 charge then it will experience a force in the direction that is opposite to the electric field do we see that do we see that so for a for a negative charge force on a negative charge is in the opposite direction direction of the electric field okay so this is the behavior of a charge in an electric field okay that is the sum of some some gist of what you will be taught in class 12 first chapter okay now we'll see what is the impact of what happens to a charge when it travels in a magnetic field fine